God created the world and divided everything to different times and seasons. When it's your season to bring forth fruits, everything will begin to work in your favor. Are you experiencing a delay? Do you feel discouraged about what's going on in your life? I want you to know that your season is coming. This phase of delay will pass and God will bless you beyond your imaginations. Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1 To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven. God has his timing for your life and his plans are perfect for you. It doesn't matter the delay that you have experienced before. It doesn't matter what is happening right now. But your season to shine is coming. Isaiah 43 verse 19 Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. God will do something new for your life. The delayed blessing is because God has something greater for you and it will come in your season. You have to realize that God's season is the best and every delay is passing out now and you are entering into your season of blessings. Isaiah 61 verse 7 for your shame ye shall have double, and for confusion they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore in their land they shall possess the double. Everlasting joy shall be unto them. Even if the delay that you have experienced has caused you shame and reproach, God is saying to you that because of that, your blessing shall be double. In your life, you may be experiencing a delay in some aspect. And you might be wondering why that it is happening to you. Life has challenges and it comes and goes. The delay is just a challenge that will pass out. Life is in phases. The delay is just a phase now in your life. It is not a denial of your blessing. The delay will come to an end and you will enter into your season where you will enjoy the blessings of God, His grace and favor. Proverbs 23 verse 18 For surely there is an end and thine expectation shall not be cut off. There is an end to every delay in your life. Whatever area of your life that has experienced delay, you are coming out of that delay and each of your expectations will be delivered to you. You are entering into your season of breakthrough. God has seen the delay that you are experiencing and He is taking you into your season just like He did for the Israelites. Israelites had experienced delay through captivity in the hands of Pharaoh. But God saw them through and brought them into their season of rejoicing. So God sent them Moses to deliver them from the Pharaoh's hand, to bring them to the promised land which represents their season of blessings. Exodus 3 verse 7 through 10 and the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people, which are in Egypt, and have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters. For I know their sorrows, and I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians, and to bring them up out of that land unto a good land, and a large unto a land flowing with milk and honey, unto the place of the Canaanites, and the Hittites, and the Amorites, and the Perizzites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites. Now therefore behold, the cry of the children of Israel has come unto me, 
and I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptians oppress them. Come now, therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. What happened to the Israelites in Egypt represented a season of delay, and it can be compared to you right now. God has seen all that you are going through, the delay, and he has said that it is time for my child to rejoice. All the disappointments, secret tears and sufferings, all is coming to an end because God is showing up and this is going to be your season you will enjoy. Exodus 3 verse 15 And God said moreover unto Moses, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, The Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, hath sent me unto you. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial unto all generations. God is releasing your own Moses. You are a seed of Abraham, so you are a partaker of the blessings of Abraham. Every delay in your life is coming to an end and you are going into your season. Exodus 3 verse 20 And I will stretch out my hand and smite Egypt with all my wonders which I will do in the midst thereof and after that he will let you go. If there's anything like resistance that tries to hinder your progress into your season, God will destroy it just like he destroyed the Egyptians. There's nothing that can hinder your celebration because you are entering into your season because God has seen all your delays and he is bringing your blessings your way. Exodus 3 verse 21 And I will give this people favor in the sight of the Egyptians, and it shall come to pass that when ye go, ye shall not go empty. The season of rejoicing for the children of Israel. God does his things with perfection. He did not only say he will deliver the Israelites from the Egyptians, which was a delay. They will find favor and they will not go empty, which means they must bless you. God's favor is upon you and your season has come. God is not only ending every delay, but he is taking you to a season of blessings. He is taking you to a period where you will not lack anything. Everything you need will be coming to you. You are making it out of that delay. There's nothing that can stop you from coming out and entering your season. Your request has gone up to God and He is stepping into your case now. God will bring you into your season of blessing. What he wants you to do is to serve him. God wants you to continually serve him. That was the main reason God brought them out of every delay and going to bless the children of Israel. He wants them to serve him. Exodus 3 verse 12 And he said, Certainly I will be with thee. And this shall be a token unto thee, and I have sent thee. When thou hast brought forth the people out of Egypt, ye shall serve God upon this mountain. Serving God guarantees your lifting in life. We were created to serve God. Every part of our life is supposed to be used to serve God. It is in serving that every delay comes to an end. Job 36 verse 11 If they obey and serve him, 
They shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasures. God's plan for you is to enjoy, to prosper, but He wants you to serve Him and your season of prosperity and pleasures will not just be for a moment. It will be forever when He takes you out of the delay now you are entering into your season. Even in that delay, God is with you. He is working out His perfect plan in your life and all that He plans for you will come to reality. Matthew 28 verse 20 Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you and I, oh, I am with you always even until the end of the world. Amen. God's word says always. This means your lifting is not just for today only, but it is forever and ever because the greater one lives inside of you. Your season is going to be forever. He said in his word in Isaiah 43 verse 19, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth, shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. You are making it out of every delay. God will do a new thing for you. He is taking you from a season of delay to a season of achievement, accomplishment, reign of blessings. This season of your life, you will begin to experience unusual breakthroughs. Just as it is not a usual thing for rivers to flow in the desert, but because it is your season, you will begin to experience the goodness of God on every side of your life. And you will confess of a truth that your season has come and there's no more delay. Anything that has delayed you in life is coming to an end. You will make it out of that situation and then you are entering into your season of lifting. God is taking you into your season. Do not be discouraged about what has happened to you. The delay may be in career, in promotion, in the family, etc. This phase is going out and you are coming out victorious from these situations. The delay that you had experienced in life isn't the end of you. It is a phase that you are passing. You are strong. You are bigger than any challenge you have experienced. The delay was also a time to gain some more experience. And then God is bringing you successfully and taking you to your new season. Cheer up because you are leaving the phase delay. You might have experienced a delay in some part of your life and it has made you miss some good things in life. But you have to realize that God's plan for your life is perfect. He knows you better and He knows what is best for you. He has created a perfect future for you. Because of the delay you have experienced, God is bringing you into your desired future and you will begin to experience God on another level.